I'm going to tell you what products are worth it just with a simple yes or no. Yes, oh my fucking God, yes. No. Yes, but you already knew that. Fucking no. No, unless you really want your face to smell like fake strawberry. Yes, a thousand percent. If I'm deserted and on an island, this is the one product I would take with me. No. Yes, the best. No. Yes, and I'm someone who was like swore by makeup removing wipes. This has totally replaced. The best of Sephora skincare part one. Okay, so I've tried about just everything for my small bumps on my thighs and arms, and this is by far the best money I've ever spent. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. This moisturizer is worth every penny and is so, so, so underrated. As someone who has combo skin with rosacea, not only does it help reduce redness, but it's so hydrating and it won't break you out. I love using this as an SPF reapplier when I already have makeup on. It's mineral-based, sweat-proof, and literally soaks up any oil, leaving a nice matte finish. I'm a makeup artist for over five years who also has way too much makeup, and I'm going to tell you what products you need from Sephora in less than 60 seconds. Hayley Bieber got me on this Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner. I feel like you can wear it by itself with pinks, nudes, browns, very versatile and also very smooth to apply. I feel like everyone and their moms have done a video about this Tarte Juicy Lip Plumper. It's like a pen and you apply it and it's the most buttery and smooth gloss you will ever try. Literally obsessed. If you're into that sun-kissed, burnt blush look like what I'm wearing right now, this Bare Minerals Blonzer is it. This is in the shade Kiss of Copper. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing right now. And literally save the best one for last, this Lawless Conceal the Deal Concealer. It's full coverage, hydrating, easy to blend, doesn't settle into fine lines or wrinkles. It's quickly become my favorite concealer. And that is saying a lot. Also, the blending brush is really good too. I filmed an entire first impression on this. If you don't believe me, you can see it for yourself. Ayo, everyday makeup check. Show your favorite concealer, favorite foundation, favorite bronzer, favorite mascara, favorite eyeliner, favorite blush, and favorite highlighter. If you need an excuse to go to Sephora, here are some things you absolutely need. The Summer Fridays All-in-One Face Oil is amazing. I use this as the very last step to lock in all of my skincare. And when I tell you my skin is so soft in the morning, I'm obsessed. I've also really been loving this Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. Also love the refillable packaging. Okay, why does nobody talk about these eyes to mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury? My favorite is the shade Rose Gold. This cream shadow all over the lid gives you such a beautiful glowy look. Tower 28 is too slept on. Their Shine On Jelly Glosses are so good. I love them. And of course, you know I'm going to mention their Beach Please Magic Hour Blush. It's the best. I love the Kaja Eyeshadow Trio in Chocolate Dahlia. These are really beautiful matte browns and one shimmer. I've been really liking the new Rare Beauty Setting Powder. It's talc-free and it applies really nicely. Freck is the best hands down for creating the faux freckle look. I love it. Five must-haves at Sephora for clear skin. The Inky List Cleanser with salicylic acid is amazing because it'll help exfoliate your skin and prevent breakouts. The Cotton Leaf Vino Perfect Essence will help to fade any red acne scar marks. The Herbivore's Lapis Oil contains blue tansy, which reduces inflammation and helps to control excess oil. Taking probiotics will help to balance your gut out and balance your skin. The Dr. Jart's Clearing Solution Mats are amazing if you have breakouts. New Sephora finds that are becoming staples in my makeup routine. I know this is not new, but it's new to me. And I'm mad that nobody told me before now that I needed this. The Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. I got shade Melrose. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. I know it's kind of expensive. I think it's like $30, which is like ugh, a lot. But it's really good. Really, really good. While we're talking Tower 28, my absolute favorite blush of the summer. Oh, in Magic Hour, it's about $20. I'm wearing it right now. Oh, 
You guys need this. You need this. You need it. The checkout line got me with this one, but it's a little Natasha Denona baby palette. It was, I think, $20, $25. This is like all I've been using, really. This is it. This is like my summer go-to. Obsessed. Best $25 ever spent. I only wish it had a light, creamy matte shade. It's my one wish. My wish for you. The Freck XL. If you see any of my little faux freckles today, I do have some real freckles, so they're not all fake, but I'm obsessed with this. I know it's expensive, but I love it. Okay, lastly, this is a fragrance I've been testing out. It is the K. Ali Eden Juicy Apple. If you like an apple fragrance, a la throwback, the DKNY Juicy Green Apple. This is a nice, like more sophisticated apple-y scent. I love it. And I think that's it. My Sephora Favorites Part 2. I just spent a thousand dollars at Sephora. Let me show you what a thousand dollars can get you. I didn't even know Sephora carried bags this size. So many goodies. I don't know where to start. This Dior natural bronzer, and you guys, this is high end, high end. This is what it looks like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense Eye Palette. These are the colors Gucci Flora. You seriously need this. TikTok made me do it, NARS Climax Liquid Liner. Makeup by Mario Master Metals and the Mixing Liquid. I fell into the hype and got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Patrick Ta Lipstick and She's Not From Here. Patrick Ta Lipstick and Oh, She's Single. Anastasia Cream Bronzer. Hourglass Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. Another Charlotte Tilbury. It's her Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial. Charlotte Tilbury Peach Corrector for the Under Eyes. This Fenty Beauty Cream Blush and Lip Gloss Set. Huda Beauty Toffee Brown Palette. Stunning. Two Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealers. This is truly one of those high-end products that is worth every penny. This YSL Slim Lipstick. Here's the color. Two Fenty Beauty Glosses. I am obsessed. An Anastasio Brow Pen. I think this is new. It's an eyeshadow palette from Fenty Beauty. These are the colors. Let me know what products you'd like me to review. It asks a lot of all of baby products. She popped it for the dollar. Shows to go out. You should say you say so. You can't hear my phone. These are her. I'm a beauty advisor at Sephora and everybody talks about the Color Wow Dream Coat Anti-Frizz Spray, but I think I found something better. This is the Color Wow Pop and Lock Frizz Control and Glossing Serum. This retails for $20 and I swear to you, a little bit goes a long way, but this makes your hair so glossy and silky smooth. Five must-haves from Sephora. NARS Creamy Concealer is my favorite of all time. I wear Marc Jacobs Nudist Lip Liner every single day. Olaplex Number no. 3 got rid of all of my split ends. Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation is my go-to. I wash my face every single day with the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Skincare items you need at Sephora. This stuff makes your skin tone so even it gets rid of hyperpigmentation, dark spots, sunspots, anything like that, highly recommend. This moisturizer is the best. It's so hydrating and lightweight. It never feels greasy or oily on your skin. If you're trying to erase old acne scars or pores, try this, trust me. This is an amazing affordable exfoliator. It gets rid of dead skin cells and makes your face so bright. This is perfect for anti-aging. It's vegan collagen, so it plumps up your skin and makes it more firm and young looking. These are my Sephora must-haves. I think everyone needs this palette. It's so pigmented, it blends so easily, and it has like all the colors you could want. They're Rare Beauty liquid blushes. Any of them, amazing. I love. I've encouraged, it's my favorite one. It's the prettiest natural pink. The Huda Beauty setting powder makes your skin look so flawless and airbrushed. Definitely recommend getting this with a powder puff. 
game changing. The Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation is worth all the hype it gets, in my opinion. I wear it every single day. This primer with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation I just showed you, the best combo for the most beautiful glowing skin. Um, but any water-based foundation would look super good with this. And of course the milk setting spray to go along with all that. This definitely keeps my makeup in place for a long time. This is what I use for my faux freckles and it looks so natural and it's so easy to put on. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer has been my favorite for so long. It's my go-to concealer. It's light to medium coverage, I feel like. Um, so if you want something more full coverage, I would probably get something different. The Kosas Concealer is on my wish list. I've seen this all over TikTok, so I want to try it out. This is also my wish list. I need a sunscreen, so this is on my wish list. But if you have any recommendations for one, please let me know. Here are the best sets from Sephora. First is the Sol de Janeiro Mini Cream Discovery Set. It's limited edition and perfect if you want to try out their different scents. Then I love this Bum Bum Jet Set. It's in their signature scent, which is my favorite. Since I haven't tried anything from this brand before, I thought this set was perfect before committing to their full-size products. Then I saw the cutest new duos by Glow Recipe. The pink one has my favorite Guava Vitamin C Serum and the green one looks amazing too. Last is this Clean Mascara Set, which comes with a voucher to redeem a full-size mascara. These are the best things to get at Sephora from someone who's tried almost everything. My favorite foundation is a NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It's so dewy. I also love the Armani Luminous Silk. It is a classic. The Armani Concealer is so hydrating and it's not super full coverage, which I love. This is my favorite primer. It's from Milk. It's a Hydro Grip. Best Tinted Moisturizer is from Rare Beauty. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filters on a tinted moisturizer, but I love it just to go over the skin. Best Cream Contour is from Rare Beauty in the shade Always Sunny. Love it. Cream Liquid Blush, Rare Beauty as well, get the shade Lucky, it's so pretty. Layer it with the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Asm on top. The only brow product I will ever buy from Anastasia. For setting powders, Huda Beauty in the shade Pound Cake. The Givenchy powder is great, I have this color, but I hear good things about the pink one as well. My favorite powder bronzer ever from Guerlain. Follow me for more. Five must-haves from Sephora. I'm obsessed with this highlight palette because it looks gorgeous on the skin and you can also use the shades as blush toppers or eyeshadows. This foundation is full coverage, lightweight, lasts all day, and gives you a luminous finish. This is one of the best hydrating products I have. I use it as a moisturizer before makeup. I love this primer because it gives you a lip from within finish and doesn't mess with your foundation. This powder is great for setting makeup and I also throw in my bag for touch-ups. Hey bitch. So I'm currently recovering from surgery, but you better believe I'm still gonna share with you my favorite Sephora sale items that you need because I did wake up at 7 a.m. to place this. Starting with makeup, my favorite Givenchy Prisme Libre. She's back in stock. Go order her. I get the shade Voile Rose. If you have dry fucking skin, Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, best moisturizer in the game, hands down. Go buy this. My current favorite powder blush, Patrick Taz. She's a doll. It's literally so beautiful. Also from Patrick Ta, the Major Glow Lip Shine in She's Expensive. And some more Patrick Ta because she never goes on sale and this is something that I need. This new Major Dimension Rose Palette, I'm obsessed. There's a new Dior foundation that I have yet to try. She's pretty expensive, so I'm using the sale to get this. And bitch, you better believe I'm gonna get Bikini Martini because I am the last person on earth who has yet to try this from Fenty Beauty. There's also a new Dior concealer that I cannot wait to try. And of course, one of my OG favorite foundations, the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Foundation. She is, I get medium 18, she is too good. Let me know if I should do a skincare and hair care one. But until then, mwah, happy shopping, bitches. I'm a makeup artist who has way too much makeup, and I'm going to tell you what products you need from Sephora in less than 60 seconds. Fenty Beauty Popsicle. Enough said, really. Yes, the color is gorgeous and it makes your lips look so juicy and shiny, but she's actually a lip stain and it actually lasts all day. This is in the shade Mai Tai. I know you've seen everyone and their moms talk about this, so I'm going to stop right here. Another product actually worth the hype is this Makeup by Mario Skin Enhance. It's what I'm wearing on my skin right now. It blends like butter. I'm wearing the shade Medium. If you've been looking for a good cream bronzer, this is your sign. Why did I wait so long to try this one size turn up the base concealer? I have no idea. Pigmented, blends beautifully, feels hydrating, and it doesn't crease. What more can you ask for? One of the best cool tone bronzers to contour your face with is this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. It's been around forever. This is my second one, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't change it. 
product that really surprised me is this Merit Flush Balm. The color is gorgeous, but it gives off a beautiful natural finish. She's not going to be that rare beauty opaque blush. She's pigmented, but she also lets your skin breathe. It's a lip balm for your cheek. Love it. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. What if you don't wake up feeling like that girl? How do you be that girl? You need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like... Things from Sephora you didn't know you needed. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me as I did a little bit of shopping. I wanted to check out some new products and repurchase some older favorites. First, I picked up the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer, which is super easy to apply. I love that it comes in this perfect mini. Then I wanted to check out the new Selfless by Hiram products because I heard that they are now available in store. I've been testing some of them out and I really love them, so I wanted to grab just a couple more. So first, I grabbed the Centella and Green Tea Hydrating Gel Cleanser. This is perfect for sensitive skin. It's a gentle cleanser that helps to hydrate the skin and reduce redness, definitely my new go-to. I also picked up the Salicylic Acid and Sea Kelp Pore Clearing and Oil Control Serum. This is a really lightweight formula. It definitely helps to reduce oil production, a must-have if you have oily, acne-prone skin. The Isle of Paradise self-tanning water is perfect if you're new to self-tanner because you just spray it on and blend it in. And my favorite spot concealer is this one from Kosas. It's super blendable. If you're looking for a cream blush that will last all day, definitely try this one from Tower 28. It's my favorite. Products you won't regret buying from Sephora from a makeup artist of seven years. Oil-free, lightweight, hydrating. I use this during and after makeup application. Your makeup will look flawless and naturally radiant. The most beautiful matte pink shade, perfect for brides. This is literally liquid gold. You can use it under foundation or as a highlighter. Either way, you're going to look like a dewy golden goddess. One of the most underrated products from Sephora. I use this as a bronzer. It's matte, not muddy, not orange, and it blends beautifully. I've talked about this product before. I was really impressed with their shade range. You can use this as a powder foundation or to touch up your makeup throughout the day to eliminate shine and blur your pores. It's opaque. It makes your skin look flawless throughout the day without looking cakey. This is gone viral for a reason. Not only does it blend beautifully, but look how hydrating it looks on the skin. If you love blush and bronzer and looking sun-kissed, this is the product for you. It looks orangey, but on the face, it's actually more of a rose tint. It's a summer staple in my opinion. I own three of these mixed berries. It's my favorite shade. It's less plumping, more juicy, but it looks and feels beautiful on the lips. If you love looking flush, then you need this cheek stain. Lengthening and volumizing. This is the best mascara drugstore or high end in my opinion. All I've been using lately. I've probably gone through more than four bottles of this. This is ride or die. It's long wearing. It looks beautiful in person and on the skin. Hydrating. My go-to foundation every time I have an event. Anywhere Caffeine and Wherever Walnut have been my go-to, but these lip liners blend like a dream. They're pigmented and the colors are just gorgeous. There's a variety of cool tone and warm tone, which I like as well. One of the most beautiful and flattering highlighters. This has no shimmer, no glitter. It's all sheen. It's going to make you look like a dewy, glazed, hydrated, sweaty goddess. I just spent almost $600 at Sephora. Let me show you what I got. Did I need more makeup? No. But I am a Taurus, and we are material girls to a T. First up is this replica fragrance in Beach Walk. This will be the newest addition to my collection. This Natasha Denona cream blush and highlighter. Look at the packaging. My first ever Natasha Denona palette. Material girl. Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation. TikTok made me do it the Kosas cloud set. I re-upped on my Urban Decay Stay Naked powder. It is one of the best powder foundations ever made. My favorite lip oil of all time. These are the item beauty lip oils. <sighs> Makeup by Mario blush stick in Dusty Rose. Makeup by Mario blush in Poppy Pink. I just got a different shade of my Red Beauty concealer. This beautiful Makeup Forever blush and the case. Huda Beauty Overachiever concealer and three of the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serums. I'm gonna try out Rose Glow. What? I'm in love. This looks so good. You need this. This bag contains $260 worth of Sephora products. Obviously, I got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Y'all see that? I don't really know how I can swatch this and I finna waste a drop. Definitely go out and get it. It is one of the best primers out there. I got my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen and it is amazing. Time to throw my old one away because your girl got a new one. I'm gonna go pick that up later. And the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Chamblation. Airbrush Flawless Foundation. 
this bottle looks like it's a hundred dollars like i mean i understand why it's so expensive can y'all y'all see that what but this obviously lived up to its name i don't like to look cakey i don't like to look i have so much oh it is so soft it literally feels like i don't have any makeup on this is 110 percent worth the hype you guys it's so good i'm gonna do the other side pull up in a sri lanka what amazing Good morning guys, I stopped at Sephora today and picked up some stuff, so I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. It looks super bright, but this is dope because it actually matches to your skin tone. So when you first put this on, there isn't really a pigment, and as you brush it in, it like naturally goes to whatever works well on your skin. So like this is the color I got. There's two versions of this, a more orangey one and a pink one. Then I got these two NARS lip liners. This one's in Larens and this one's in Vence. Um, I'm wearing Larens on the outer and Vence on the inside. Next up, we have this Jouer lip oil. I've heard a lot of good things about this. It looks really pretty. The applicator looks nice and it has apricot oil, which is supposed to help smooth and soothe the lips. So I'll keep you posted on how this works. I got a new beauty blender and new tweezers just because I needed new ones. I need to re-up on my Fussy Gloss Balm by Fenty Beauty and Diamond Slipper. I just couldn't resist buying. It's so pretty. The Sephora sale starts tomorrow, so come get ready with me. I'm going to show you guys all of my favorite products that you can get at Sephora. So before I start, I just want to mention that I did apply to the Sephora squad, so it would mean so much to me if you guys took a second and clicked the link in my bio and left me a testimonial. Thank you to everyone who's already left me one. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I already did this off camera, but my eyeliner, this one's my favorite. It's the One Size Point Made Liquid Liner. And for brows, I've been obsessed with the ABH Brow Freeze. It's a game changer. For skincare, these two products have been my go-tos, the Biosan Squalene and Copper Peptide Serum, and then the Tatcha Water Cream on top. Amazing. Okay, I have a lot of favorites, so this is kind of hard for me. So my top three base products, this one is at number one, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and I also like to mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, another one of my faves, and I also love the One Size BBB Cream. I always bounce between those three, but I tend to reach for this one the most. I just love the finish of it. It's beautiful. Like, it just makes your skin look totally flawless. I really like to mix in this Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick in the shade Always Sunny. I mix it with my contour because it's more warm toned. I saw Makeup by Ariel do this, and I really like it. For concealer, I like to mix the Kosas one, which I'm almost running out of. I'm going to buy that tomorrow, with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And this one's in a lighter shade. I like this one because it's good for my oily skin. Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. Do I even need to say anything? We all know these are amazing. These will last you an actual lifetime because that's all you need. This is probably my favorite liquid blush like ever, 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 ever. If you know, you know. These Huda Beauty powders are my holy grail, my favorite powders in the entire world. And I know, I'm not sure about Cupcake, but I know Cherry Blossom is sold out, but get whichever one you can. Okay, I just checked. Cupcake isn't sold out, so make sure you grab this. For a bright under eye, I love setting my under eyes with a pink setting powder, and the Huda Beauty ones are my absolute favorite. Okay, for powdered blush, I like the Makeup by Mario Poppy Pink Blush. If you know me, you know I love a very bright pink blush, so if you're the same, you'll love this. This is my favorite highlighter palette, the Dior Backstage one. I mix these two shades, and I use that on my nose, and then I like using the pink one, kind of mix in with my blush. It just adds the perfect amount of glow. I love this Buxom Mascara for my lower lashes because it makes them look so long and it doesn't transfer at all. This is one of my favorite lip liners. It's the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao and I use it to contour my lips. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite setting spray. It's the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air Setting Spray. I do it before I set my face with powder and after. Okay guys, that's pretty much all my favorite products from Sephora. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of them. Could 
Sephora must haves under $20 part four. I recently tried this lip gloss from Item Beauty and I fell in love. It's been my go-to. It's super glossy, really smooth, and it smells amazing. I've heard nothing but good things about these LIS cream blushes. They stay in place so well on my skin. They have a bunch of beautiful colors to choose from and I like them because they're not overly creamy but you get more of a natural dewy glow. This is one of my favorite affordable cleansers. If you have oily or acne prone skin, this is going to be a great option for you and a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to put you on to my five must-have skincare products for that girl, Laneige edition. Starting with number one, the lip sleeping mask. It gives you moisture and antioxidants while you sleep and hydrates lips overnight, which leaves them feeling so soft the next morning. My go-to flavor is sweet candy. I literally can go one night without using it. Next, I really recommend the water sleeping mask. It's actually a new and improved formula which has more benefits. I absolutely love this product because the formula is so lightweight. Coming in at number three is the Lip Glowy Balm. I love this product so much because it's not too big so it's really easy to grab and go for daytime use. It also gives off the perfect buttery feel to my lips. If you're trying to brighten up your visible dark spots, this is the product for you. It's the Radiant C Cream. It's formulated with vitamin C, E, A, E, and really gentle on the skin. It helps decrease the look of dullness, leaving skin hydrated. Last but not least is the Lip Treatment Balm. It has an instant cooling sensation and smells like pina colada which gives me beach vibes. The applicator is stored in the lid which makes it super easy to use. You can shop all these products during Sephora's spring saving event running from April 1st to the 11th. Happy shopping! Hi guys, here I am at Sephora and I'm going to tell you about my five must-haves. First up are these Isle of Paradise tanning drops. I have the medium shade. I just put a few drops in with my moisturizer at night and I wake up with a tan face. Number two is this Lip Maximizer Gloss by Dior. This is the shade Rosewood. It is the perfect lip gloss. I'm obsessed. Next up is this Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Mask. Great for acne and I use it as a spot treatment as well sometimes. Next up is my favorite lipstick ever. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. I swear this lipstick looks good on everyone and here's what the shade looks like on me. Lastly, this is the Ren Pillow Spray that literally makes me feel like I'm at a spa and it's the best. My must-haves from Sephora. Here's everything you guys said I had to buy at Sephora. Ordinary squalling cleanser. This is definitely gonna be used as a first cleanse. And it was like $7. Multiple people told me to get this and I have never heard of this brand. Smells a little citrusy, a little sweet. Boy Hendrickson dry body oil. It'll probably make your whole body look glowy and amazing without being greasy. Olaplex purple shampoo, this is kind of new. The reviews were amazing. Um, This because it smells so MF good, this whole brand everything they do smells good that's really the main reason i got this a billion of you told me to get this one billion people recommended this aluminum free deodorant probably smells amazing your sika i see sika i see repair i see bomb kind of like this is yes immediately yes milk primer called pour eclipse it's very hydrating and blurring no one recommended this. I just honestly thought it looked great. Honey Halo. Multiple people told me to get this. It's like a really rich, rich type of formula. Last but not motherfucking least. Got an hourglass product. Cream highlighter that my phone refuses to focus on. Girlfriend. But like, oof, bitch. It's giving. Completely giving. Save or splurge, where I tell you what product is worth the splurge or if you should save your money. Yes, this is so worth it. I think you could save your money on this one. Love, love, love this. Absolutely get it. Heck yes, this is a great one. Eh, not sure if this one's worth the cash. Uh, yes, I'll pretty much always repurchase this product. I love drugstore makeup more than anything in the world, but there are some things from Sephora I do think are totally worth it. Starting off with the best foundation in the entire world, this is from Rare Beauty. I have never felt anything as soft on my skin ever before. This is, you just have to try it. Item Beauty Mascara, I mean, this will make your lashes look so, so long. I have very short lashes and it makes me look like I have falsies. A Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. 
this is amazing i've tried so many liquid blushes and this blends the best and it stays on forever they have put something in the charlotte tilbury pressed powder it is just simply the best it makes your makeup stay on all day I don't even need to say anything for this blush. I mean, look how gorgeous the shade is. It is in Coral Flush and it is by It Cosmetics. It's an amazing, amazing shade. If your skin is prone to acne whenever you use sunscreens, this super goop is gonna save you. It, you can't even see it on your skin um, and it feels like a primer. Product must haves from a Sephora employee. First is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is the number one sold face primer in Sephora. Screenshot for ingredients. The Alia Mascara. This brush speaks for itself. And it has volumizing fiber. The Olaplex line is the number one hair care line. I don't care what anyone says. And they just dropped the number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. If you struggle with frizz or you just had your hair colored recently, this is perfect for you. NARS Full Coverage Concealer, but these really speak for themselves. The formula is amazing and they come in minis. Miss Anastasia Brow Freeze herself. This is the best brow styling product on the market, hands down. The Glow Recipe. I bought this little Fruit Babes Best Sellers Kit and I fell in love with the pore tightening toner. You guys screenshot the back to read the benefits of this toner. And then get ready to throw away the makeup wipes because this is the Sephora brand makeup melt away balm. You guys, go get it. Sephora makeup must-haves that are $20 and under. You really cannot go wrong with the Fenty Beauty Original Gloss Balm. This will look good on everybody and formula is great because it's not sticky and it's super creamy on the lips. This Beauty Blender Pocket Puff is definitely worth the hype. It will leave your under eyes looking super smooth and airbrush and this also works with setting your face makeup as well and the puff itself is really soft. You just slip it onto your fingers and it's amazing. And if you like a good creamy soft matte blush, you will love these from LYS Beauty. They give you just the right amount of pigment and they're very easy to blend and long wearing on the skin. Another Another great matte bronzer is also from LYS Beauty. This is such a nice formula with a great shade range. And the Item Beauty Lash Knack Mascara is great for length and the wand makes it super easy to coat your top and lower lashes. Favorite products from Sephora I keep in my kit as a professional makeup artist, let's go. First up, we have this cream blush from Tower 28 in the shade Magic Hour. This blush will come to the grave with me. I'm obsessed. I layer it over powders all the time and it gives my cheeks the most natural dewy finish. Next up, we have the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. I mean, if there's one foundation you need to own, it's this one. I don't think Rare Beauty has come out with a bad product, but these contour bronzing sticks are phenomenal. They blend out seamlessly and they're very beginner friendly. These Huda Baking Powders are incredible. They set everything into place and give you the perfect flawless finish. The Kosas powder, I'm obsessed. Talk about a filter effect. When I tell you it blurs every pore, like I mean it. The Laura Mercier blushes are totally slept on. I love this shade Strawberry. It's very pink, but it gives my brides the most beautiful pinky cheek. This one's a splurge, but the Hourglass blushes are incredible. It gives the most stunning sheen to the cheek and like such a natural glow. The Makeup Forever Lip Pencils are amazing. This is my favorite shade. I wear almost every day and it's so universal. Stop scrolling. I'm about to put you on some products at Sephora. Power 28 Jelly Gloss. This stuff makes your lips look so full and juicy. Pistachio is the best shade. That's one. There's only one left. And yes, I'm going to grab it. If you see it, be sure and snag one. Next up is Say Beauty. I'm going to try out their cream bronzer. I will report back, but this stuff has such high reviews. I had to give it a go. I'm going to grab the shade Medium. Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. If you need to go swimming on the first date, baby, you're going to need to grab this. This is the strongest setting spray on earth. I'm gonna grab the mini for my summer travels. ABH Brow Freeze, this is a backup I'm gonna buy here. I've been using this for a while now. It's my favorite product to get the bushy brow look because it doesn't leave any white crusty residue. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is always sold out for a reason because it is the best luminator to put on your face before you apply your foundation and it gives you a glowy look. Of course, they didn't have my shade today, darn it. Miss Addison Ray did that with these lip oils. I've tried these out before and I had to grab some backup shades to try out. Also, if you guys haven't tried her blushes, they're so pigmented, I love them. I'm gonna grab I'm Crushing. Gisu is such an underrated brand. I love their hair perfume. I use it for my clip-in extensions when I don't feel like washing them or I use it on my own hair. It smells so clean and fresh. 
Sol de Janeiro Elastic Cream. This stuff is so good. It's got retinol, plant-based collagen, all the good stuff, and it smells like flowers. I have to have it. Day Wave Spray. I love this stuff for when I don't like to style my hair. I just hit it with this a little bit while it's damp and get these nice waves, but it is sold out today. Gloss Balm. Do I need to say more? I'm going to pick it up in Cherry today to give it a go, but I do love these. If you can't tell, I am a glossy, glossy girl. Tom Ford Body Oil. Oh my gosh, this mini size will last you forever so you don't have to get the full size, but this is mine. It leaves me glowy, hydrated, and smelling delicious. Get the mini, you'll love it. If you need a sunscreen to wear under your makeup, the Innisfree sunscreen is so lightweight and does not leave a white residue. Grab it, it's 15 bucks. Sephora products worth the hype and worth adding to cart. If you want to ditch the heavy foundations this summer but still want some coverage, pick up the Ilia Skin Tint. This is a serum-like formula, so it is super lightweight on the skin, and it also has SPF 40, which I love. The Kosas Concealer is definitely worth the hype. It is so creamy and so brightening. I actually like mixing this with my Say Hydra Beam Concealer as well. If you can get your hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand, I am telling you, you will not be disappointed. This is the most beautiful highlight. Love this SPF. It's only $15, feels amazing on the skin, doesn't pill, and doesn't leave a white cast. I love mixing in the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops to whatever foundation or skin tint I'm using. It gives the skin a beautiful bronzy glow. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palettes are the perfect highlight toppers. I'm obsessed. I think it's obvious that the Glowy Super Gel by Say is a fan favorite. I mean, there's not even any of the tester left. Same thing with this Tower 28 Shine On Jelly Gloss. This is in the shade XOXO and it is my favorite. While you're there, also pick up the Bronzino Illuminating Bronzer in West Coast. This is the most perfect bronzer for summer. The Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Setting Spray melts your makeup together, gives you a beautiful glowy finish, and it keeps your makeup in place all day. I've tried literally everything on my lips and nothing compares to the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. I like to apply this before I go to bed and I wake up with really soft lips. I also really love using the Summer Fridays Butter Bombs during the day. Pair it with a lip liner and you are good to go. I truly believe this oil came from heaven itself because it is that good. My skin is obsessed. If you want your lashes to hold a curl all day long, I swear by the Shiseido Lash Curler. No matter if I'm doing a no makeup day or a full glam, I have to use the Refi Brow Sculpt. This keeps my brows in place all day. Pro tip, if you're still trying to get your hands on the Fenty Poutsicle Lip Stains, which are amazing for summer, try looking at the Kohl's Sephora. That's where I found mine. I also love the Gloss Bombs. The shade Fussy is my go-to. If you're looking for a really good dry shampoo that leaves your hair smelling absolutely amazing, this is my favorite one by Sol de Janeiro. It smells like their Boom Boom Cream. If you have been wanting to try out Necessaire products, they have a little mini set now, and this is absolutely perfect. These are some of my favorite products. If you are a sensitive skin girly, you will love these products. The eyeshadow palette I reach for most has to be Master Mattes by Makeup by Mario. I just love that it has so many different matte shades, perfect for everyday use. Had to restock on one of my favorite hydrating moisturizers. This is Glow Recipe. It's their Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream, and you can get a refill. The Dr. Dennis Gross pill pads are amazing for texture and pores. Use it at night and you will wake up with super soft skin.